it's Tiff back again for another Monday. And today, believe it or not, I actually have an idea. And it came from uh, Pinterest. I tried to go back and find the image um, where this uh, person had took a magazine image and it was like split. And well, I couldn't find it. So I'm sorry to the artist who... Uh, gave me the inspiration. I just could not locate it um, when I went back. Somehow, apparently, I didn't pin it to a Pinterest board. Has, does that ever happen to you? So, anyway, as you can see, I'm just going in here directly with the Uhu glue stick, and I'm gluing down on this altar journal that we've been working in on Mondays, and I'm, I'm just wanting to split her face apart. <laughs> You know, saying that, that's pretty funny, splitting her face apart. Anyway, so I tore her face in half. Man, this is, I'm violent. This is some violent stuff I'm talking about here. So I took and split her face apart, and then I am going to um, cut out the number area and then I was trying to keep it in frame but uh, it was kind of hard I was having to move the book all around so I'm wanting to cut that piece out remove it um do you see a pattern for the past few weeks I've been kind of cutting the book and huh well I guess that's just where my muse has been taking me so I'm just going to kind of clip this little area out here so I have a gap in her face and then I'm going to trim off the excess that I have um, from the magazine image and this was actually some type of cologne or something oh man it gave me a headache and maybe that's why my muse was saying splitting my face in half but the smell from um, cologne. I have migraines that are um, hit me sometimes with different smells and stuff. So I don't know, but it was I. Uh, I had to clip all of that edge off, and I ended up making the page a little bit shorter because of me clipping the uh, fragrance part um, off. You know the little fragrance that comes in there. And so I'm just kind of deciding what I want to do, how I want to add some texture because you know I love texture and how I'm going to do that. So, I fiddle fart around, that's a technical term, and I decide I'm going to sew the girl's face up. <laughs> oh Lord, man, this is like all types of graphic details about this poor lady's face that I'm just tearing to pieces over here. But I put some gesso around that, and I'm kind of getting a feel for that. And as you saw, I tore that little area at the bottom. And I'm just kind of messing around here, figuring out what I want to do. And as you saw, the little fragrance ad part of with the uh, graphic at the top, it got a little cattywampus. And that's also a technical term. And so it kind of um, has some of the words on there. And so now I'm just taking an uh, embroidery needle and some red thread. This is totally inspired from my friend Susie LaFond. And she loves doing red stitching. I don't use a lot of red. But when I do, I really like it in stitching. So as you've seen in previous videos, I've done red stitching before. And so that's kind of where the muse was taking me. So I did not make you sit through the painful process of me stitching this girl's face up. But don't it look cool? Yes, I love it. I thought it looked really cool. So I'm going in here with a Deco Arch Crackle Paste. And that's like my favorite of all crackles I've ever tried is the Deco Arts Media Crackle Paste. I've used it over and over and over again. The only tip I have for that is that um, I really like that now, looking at that when I put that little thing around her eye, but I don't end up using it. But anyway, the tip that I have with using the Crackle Paste is to let it air dry. And as you see, the thicker it is, like the bigger, juicier it is as far as cracks are concerned. And then I'm going to go in with the Distress Ink. This one is Hickory Smoke, and it wasn't as dark 
as I really wanted because I was wanting it to kind of like creep into the crevices of the cracks. Crevices of the cracks. Creep into the crevices of the cracks. And then I'm going to kind of wipe it back so it kind of makes it pop a little bit more. And then I went into the, with the black soot and I got a much darker, deeper, richer um, vibrancy there. And I really like that better. It's really a very, um, I think it's like a pretty deep, um, invoking emotional kind of page because it's so, I think it's just so interesting how it's split apart and all this and that. So, um, I hope you guys are inspired to create a page, um, like this as well. And then I went and... Um, I got this book. I'm going to share it with you in just a minute. It's called Wise, Wise Words in Quotes. And um, one of the things that this kind of uh, brought to surface, and this is kind of like the week that I've been having. Um, as you're watching this, I've actually been um, in Texas playing with a bunch of friends. And before I left, I recorded this so y'all would have a Monday video. And it says, it's hard to listen while you're planning something you think needs to be said. How often is it that you sit there and instead of really listening, you're planning what you're going to say next? I am very guilty of this. I am very conscious of the fact that I love to talk. So I have to be very aware when people are speaking to me that I'm actually listening instead of wanting to get my point across. So hopefully I'm not the only person who struggles with this, but sometimes it just splits your head open, the fact that people won't listen instead of always trying to have the last word. So I think that was kind of what was on my subconscious as I was creating this page. And just like every other page on Monday, we're going to write the recipe over to the side and um, I'm referencing the color chart there. That was the 817 DMC floss was the red. And I'm just going to write exactly what it is that I used on the page so that I can use um, that at another time. So I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. Like I said, I've had a blast, I'm sure, over the weekend. I hope you enjoyed the video. Give me the thumbs up, click the subscribe, and leave me a comment. Until next time, toodaloo!